Twas a fortnight before Squidmas in the city of Flaunt, when Kohai and Jarvis settled into their haunt. Their order arrived, chicken, fish, and fries, and the two dug in and requested some pies. Before the pie could be moved from the counter, a loud sound from outside meant a sure encounter. Jarvis and Kohai looked out to the street. Citizens running in fear meant a delay of their treat. Up from their seats and out the front door, the two turned their attention to outside the bookstore. A kraken, large, purple, and looming, was the clear source for the booming. Crates and barrels went flying, pieces of buildings torn asunder. The various crashing sounded like thunder. Tentacles grabbed too at holiday decorations, everything from the mass manufactured to the children's creations. Kohai and Jarvis always quick to react. The two rushed toward the creature and attacked. With each swipe of a claw, with each spell cast, it appeared to anger the Kraken more and fast. The Kraken responded by lashing out with wrath, tentacles destroying anything in their path. When suddenly a voice came out of the tentacled brute, water the creature shouted, Kohai could not refute. The small squid paused and pulled out a small vial. He cast a different spell as a sort of trial. Water flowed forth towards the kraken before him. It was met with happiness, and the kraken filled to the brim. The water continued as they stopped their assault. This unexpected reaction brought them to a halt. This would be where the real work began, convincing this kraken of a newly formed plan. The kraken looked around at the destruction wrought, evidence that a battle had been fought. Embarrassment crept into the creature's demeanor. The kraken nodded as their skin turned greener. Kohai and Jarvis got to work designing a pool, as the citizens helped keep the Kraken cool. Snacks and kiddie pools help came from all sides. In no time, the crew made many great strides. The project began to really take shape. It even served to transform the landscape. The city of Flaunt pulled together with care, for they hoped that their new friend would like the new square. Much to the surprise and delight of the crew, the Kraken held out a tentacle or two carefully at first to help hold something big, and slowly but surely helped with the rig. Finally, the build was finished. It took ten days. The squid, the cat, and the kraken met with praise. The kraken settled into their new home with glee. The three friends celebrated with a pie, or a three. The three celebrated squid, kraken, and kitty in the repaired square in the heart of the city. Kohai said as the lights in the square twinkled bright, Happy Squidmas to all, and to all a good night.